Pei Lin of Miami University in Ohio. Seventh in the one meter competition. The runner up here on three meter each of the last two years. She starts out with a difficult back two and a half somersault pipe. If you see 3.0 as a degree of difficulty, you know that that's one of the higher degree of difficulty dives that you'll see. And she demonstrates wonderful flexibility. And I think the only reason she didn't get all eight and a halves or above is she had a little arch before she went in the water. Yuju of Minnesota, the champion in this event two years ago, finished fifth last year. This is her first dive. She was fourth earlier in the meet on one meter. And a lot of women won't put a forward approach and dive in their first round because if they're a little nervous, sometimes they don't put their feet right on the end of the springboard. And she has her feet just a little bit back from the tip of the springboard where it's most flexible. What a beautiful dive, and I think it would have received nines or above if she'd had a on the tip. Top score is eight and a half. Pay 305B, 3.0. Awards, eight, eight and a half, seven and a half, eight, seven and a half, seven and a half, eight. U, 405B, 3.0. Awards, eight, 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 seven and a half, seven, seven, seven. Pay, 405B, 3.0. Awards, seven and a half, six and a half, six and a half, seven, 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 seven. U, 205B, 3.0. Awards, seven and a half, seven, 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 seven and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. Pay, 105B, 2.4. Seven, seven and a half, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half, six. Yuzhou of Minnesota, the leader through four dives, but leading it by only a point. She needs seven and a half 
to stay in the lead, and I think she's going to be right in that territory. It's going to be a close contest. The hurdle wasn't one of her best ones. The takeoff wasn't one of her best. But look at the beautiful entry, and the judges are told, they are instructed to be very detail-oriented, and they award for those beautiful entries, even though they might take off just yeah. slightly for the hurdle not quite being on the end of the board. That's her coach, Winbo Chen. And now three meter diving. I'm joined by Cynthia Potter. Yuju of Minnesota through four rounds with two dives left has the lead. Pei Lin of Miami second. Lexi Tenenbaum, fellow Golden Gophers teammate of Yuju, is in third. It's very close, as you can see, 15 points separating. Pei Lin of Miami University in Ohio, the runner up in this event each of the last two years, and with two dives left, she stands second. A very close contest, just over one point, separating her and the leader at this point from Minnesota, Yuzhou. Oh, she spins very compactly, folds herself in half like a piece of paper being folded over. And see the toes coming down into the board, extended and stretched, while the fingertips are extended and stretched up also. And that helps to get the most out of the diving board. 68.2 for Pei Lin of Miami. Of Minnesota, the champion in this event two years ago, finished fifth last year. She has a chance to win her second three meter title in three years. I'm going to make a prediction. It'll happen because she only needs six and a half on this final round dive. Most divers put a dive in the final round that they can depend on. Call it their money dive. They, they say, no matter what happens in the hurdle or the takeoff, I can still do the dive well. Oh yeah, there's your champion. It wasn't her greatest entry. But it's good enough, and she was very consistent. She received a couple of six and a halves in this contest, but she didn't need anything but a six and a half on this, and that was her lowest score in the competition. She'll be the winner. And she gets sevens and seven and a halves, and the dive total is 66. And 392, 75, your champion, Yujo of Minnesota remaining and here's Pei Lin the runner-up each of the last two years uh, that is technically a very good dive it could be cleaner going in the water it could be a little more vertical and like I said the judges are instructed to be real detail oriented and they're all professionally certified so they know exactly what they're doing this is a good dive. It's not going to score as high as Cassidy Cook, but she was way ahead of Cassidy before she did this dive, so she will still stay ahead. Of Minnesota, the champion in this event two years ago, finished fifth last year. She has a chance to win her second three-meter title in three years. I'm going to make a prediction. It'll happen because she only needs six and a half on this final round dive. Most divers put a dive in the final round that they can depend on. Call it their money dive. They, they say no matter what happens in the hurdle or the takeoff, I can still do the dive well. Oh yeah, there's your champion. It wasn't her greatest entry. But it's good enough, and she was very consistent. She received a couple of six and a halves in this contest, but she didn't need anything but a six and a half on this, and that was her lowest score in the competition. She'll be the winner. And she gets sevens and seven and a halves, and the dive total is 66. And 392, 75, your champion, Yuzho of Minnesota dive in the last round though. for the second time in three years you show uh, Minnesota is the champion on the three meter for coach Renbo Chen you can 
see how bad she wanted this.